In today's video, we're going to be customizing, reviewing, as well as take out the new Vapid Dominator GT on the racetrack. But before we begin, let's modify the car first, and as always, let's get all the performance upgrades first. And now on to the cosmetics and for the bumpers, front bumpers, we're going to go with the primary twin wedges. Moving on to the rear bumpers and we're going to go with the primary GT bumper. For the grills, we're going to go with the plastic GT grill. And then for the hood, we're going to go with the primary vented hood. For mirrors, we're going to go with the carbon mirrors. And for the mud guards, we're gonna go with the plastic mud flaps. For the spoilers, we're going to go with the primary large lip spoiler. And then for the vents, we're going to go with the secondary rear side cover. And of course, we're gonna get limo tints. For the wheels, we're going to go with the Cheetah RR. We're going to color it black. And of course, we'll get bulletproof tires. For the respray, we're going to go with lime green. And then for the livery, we're going to go with the red edged racing stripes. For the neon, we're going to go with a lime green light. Oh, and yes, we forgot to give custom tires. And with that, we come to the end of the customization, and I guess I'll see you guys outside. And now that we are outside, here is how it looks, and at the same time, how it sounds. And now guys, moving on to the review and starting off with the acceleration as always. And well guys, the Vapid GT does not disappoint. It launches off the line pretty well, actually a little bit better than most muscle cars honestly. And then after that, it accelerates very very well. It has a good low to mid end performance. And even then after that, the top end acceleration is still pretty good. So when it comes to the acceleration, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Oh, and here is a clip of the Vapid GT, well, just being a talk monster. Anyways, now moving on to the top speed and well guys, when it comes to the top speed again, I'd say that it is pretty decent. I'm not sure on exactly what the number is, but I'd say it does feel fast and at the same time, it is good enough for the city as well as for the highways. And so because of that, I'm going to say that the top speed of the Dominator GT is actually pretty good. And now on to the handling and well guys, this is the area where the Dominator GT actually excels at. For a muscle car, you'd think that it would just oversteer like crazy, but this car is on steroids. It has freaking supercar handling. It's like someone at Rockstar just decided to paste on the handling of a supercar onto the Dominator GT because that's how good it is. It has no oversteer or understeer and it just grips up very very well and it will not let go. And on top of that, it is also able to take corners at high speed which makes it one of the better or maybe even one of the best handling muscle cars in all of GTA Online. And trust me guys when I say this, but this car is just amazing to drive around in free mode. It has amazing handling and it just loves the twisties and as well as the ups and downs. So if you're looking to have a lot of fun, I'd say that the Dominator GT is, well, amazing. And just to finish things off, when it comes to the handling, I'm going to give it an amazing score. Anyways guys, now on to the track test and as well as the conclusion and starting off with the conclusion and where do I begin? The Dominator GT, it looks very good, it sounds very good and at the same time, it also performs very very good. It is a peach of a car, honestly guys, it's very nice to drive, be it for racing or free roam. Oh and one more thing about the Dominator GT, but it also is a convertible, which means that you can drive this car either with the top up or down as you can see over here. And well guys, I feel like that is actually pretty neat, so yeah, thumbs up from me. And then now we come on to the big question and that is, is it worth it? I'd say that yes, the car is actually worth the money. I mean, even though yes, it is expensive at $2.2 million, I'd say that it is well worth the money because of the performance and at the same time, because it is just too fun to drive. So yeah, the Dominator GT, a muscle car with the handling of a supercar. Anyways, enough on that, let's move on to the track test and well guys, 
after a few multiple attempts, I have gotten a best time of 3 minutes and 4 seconds which is honestly amazing for a muscle car. It's actually pretty good that I'd even say that it can even compete with the sports cars. So yeah. Anyways, now on to the drag race and basically what we do here is we drive in a straight line until we finish the race. And well guys, after a few multiple attempts, I have gotten a best time of 30.7 seconds which is honestly really really good for a muscle car. And well guys, with that we wrap up the video. The Dominator GT, honestly one of the best muscle cars in GD Online that I have ever driven and personally honestly my favourite muscle car in the game. And yes, it is worth it. Anyways guys, with that we come to the end. Leave a like, leave a comment down in the comment section and subscribe to the channel. It will really help me out a lot. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.